according to a source familiar with the case. The Manhattan grand jury looking into the former president's alleged involvement in a scheme to pay hush money to an adult film star adjourned on Monday without deciding whether to indict Trump. The next grand jury meeting is scheduled for this Wednesday. David Pecker, the former CEO of the company that produces the National Enquirer, spoke to the committee on Monday. The grand jury began at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, and CNN producers observed Pecker, the former chairman of American Media Incorporated, which publishes the Enquirer, entering the building at that time and leaving it at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Pecker was a central player in the hush money payment scheme. After he and Ami were the subject of an investigation into campaign finance, he assumed a new position as executive advisor in August 2020. Ami signed a non-prosecution agreement with prosecutors. CNN reported in January that Pecker had met with prosecutors from the Manhattan District Attorney's Office as part of the probe, and previously reported that he had met with prosecutors from the office dating to 2019. In exchange for their grand jury testimony, Pecker and another associate were granted immunity in the federal investigation. Stormy Daniels' agent allegedly got in touch with Ami in October 2016 and told them that Daniels was ready to go public with her claims that she had an affair with Trump. The former president has denied the affair. Pecker took that information to Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, who negotiated with Daniel's attorney to purchase her silence for $130,000, the court filings from Cohen's plea agreement said. Daniels threatened to move her story elsewhere after Cohen failed to either immediately execute the agreement or pay her less than two weeks before the 2020 election. Pecker told Cohen at the time that the deal needed to be completed or it could look awfully bad for everyone, according to court filings. Cohen then agreed to make the payment and finalize the deal. That $130,000 payment from Cohen to Daniels, which was repaid to Cohen by the Trump Organization, is at the heart of Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's investigation. The grand jury, which is considering whether to indict Trump for his alleged involvement in the scheme, has not yet indicated whether or when the former president will face charges. After a flurry of activity last week, the grand jury has been relatively quiet.